getting tired of that daily Imperium rut? Is taking commands from a long dead cadaver in a shiny toilet getting you down? Do you ever wonder, are there better options out there for me? Then why not give us a try? Chaos! That's right, in the exciting fast-paced world of chaos, we're always looking for bright, new, powerful, and easily suggestible people to come join our ranks. And we have a fine assortment of deities to fit into whatever type of individual you might be. Ever find yourself getting mad at every little thing? Do you often punch and charge into absolutely everything nearby in a violent rage for no reason? Is blood something you constantly crave in gushing rivers of unspeakable frenzy? Then maybe corn is just who you are looking for. The blood god corn is always looking for new berserkers to send off into reckless combat and malevolence in the continuing efforts to satiate his unending thirst for terror, mayhem, and of course, blood. Do you ever wake up in the morning to find that those festering boils are still there? Does plague and pestilence hang around you like a fetid curtain of decay? Are you still unsure what to do with those piling up buckets of puke around the home? Well, then the god of decay, Nurgle, might be more to your style. Nurgle, the festering pile of unspeakable disease, is always looking for new plague bearers and plague marines to take up maggot-filled arms and death against the clean world in the year 40,000. So come, stop the world and melt with us, with Nurgle. Are you constantly cutting yourself, masturbating, gorging, or just overly indulging in all available delights? Do you wish there were more opportunities to wear that bondage gear that's just collecting dust in the closet? Are you thinking dirty thoughts while I'm talking right now? Then Slanesh, the god of lust and excess, is right up your alley. Come blast your music with the noise, marines, and delve into carnal desires with any number of pansexual fiends. Leave your worries and clothes at the door. You won't be needing them where you're going with Slanesh. Do you find yourself craving change constantly? Are you apt to conjure up magical friends and summon up heretical spells? Would you call yourself much of a bird person? Then perhaps the magical god of change, Zanish, is more for your discerning palate. Come, conjure up blood letters and any number of unspeakable horrors in the eye of terror with fellow like-minded go-getters searching for the next new thing with Zanish. Join us! Two, one. Hey everybody, and welcome back to uh, Fire Warrior. I am uh, still Nigroth, and with me is a special guest, Lord it's Baxter. Me. Lord Baxter, Lord ba yay! Hooray! But uh, yeah, um, we are pretty much at the end of the game here. I mean, Kovash is back with me, and... Now she just hit the fan. Yeah, I, I guess uh, parking next to a battle barge wasn't the best place to... Uh, to leave our Tau cruiser. They're very serious about parking fines here, mate. Yeah, but uh, you know, thankfully, uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, we're obviously surrounded by our battle brothers here, and we also get a new weapon, the pulse carbine. Correction, by new weapon. I hope you mean it stole six weapons, because he said to take one, and you took all of them. Man. Well, I cool. mean, it's not like Kovash is going to use one. I might as well take them all. And they took away all my weapons, so... Screw that. In addition to a new weapon, we've also got a uh, new enemy type, I guess. Yeah, the, uh, I, you know, to us, they kind of look like stormtroopers. In the manual, they, uh, for some reason, refer to them still as just guardsmen. They, uh, they take a little bit more damage, but uh, otherwise, they're more or less just a pallet change. Yeah, the auto aim is really the only thing that saves them here, partly because the auto aim loves to, you know, shoot either side of a dude who's stabbing you with his chainsaw. Yeah, and, I mean, technically within the actual lore of 40k, the pulse carbine is actually a step down from the pulse rifle. I think the only reason they consider it an upgrade in this game is because it has a grenade launcher on it as well. Grenade launchers are where it's at, in fact. Yeah, actually, um, the main benefit from throwing grenades as opposed to shooting a grenade is that throwing, there's like a, a little one to two second long delay for actually the animation of throwing. With the grenade launcher itself, it's just completely instant. But, uh, yeah. Precision. Yeah, we got a cowering member of the air cast there. Not really. 
I wish I could. There's sadly... Man, it's the Imperial Guard, man, you know? Punish cowardice with death. Oh, well, we can't do that. We we punish cowardice with shittier tasks. Sounds and like I mean, the tower pretty gay, then. They are. I mean, they only have, like, one set of guys that even fights at all. The aircast will never, ever fight. The aircast can totally fight. Give they, them a gun. Well, it'll be a slap fight. If you If you give those spindly arms a... Like anything, it'll just like snap off. They could buff out, do some weights. Yeah, well, then they probably take could, some space steroids. They, they probably couldn't even lift their arms at that point. He's not shooting at the uh, roof, by the way. There's a turret over there. Yeah, and, he's uh, not. He's not just completely. Sergeant. Yeah, he's not just missing the dancing sergeant. He, well, look, he's, there's lasers and there's noise and there's you know the alarm. He thinks he's out of raid. He just wanted to kind of fit in. Yeah, there's, you know, fog machines going off, and it's a very picturesque, uh, you know, battle cruiser. Uh, well, picturesque in a uh, lots of identical corridors kind of way. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you get this awesome dance floor here. It'd be yeah. perfect for dancing. But yeah, um, you know, we're uh, obviously under attack, and you know, for some odd reason, the IG were here long enough to set up turrets into uh, the ship itself. Bit odd. Most uh, most would assume it would be hard to install a complex weaponry like that. Oh, watch Very out, shortest. watch out, he's gonna get you. He's, he, no, he's not gonna get you, he's gonna die. Yeah, I think he had something bad for lunch. He had to vomit or something, I couldn't tell. He was so close, too. Yeah, I mean, it, it's actually bad if they if they do catch up to you. I mean, because I think their uh, their chainsaws kind of skip the shield entirely and will just start yeah, no. hacking away. Yeah, no, you did get hit like... once or twice in the first video. You know, being retarded. Like yeah. Usual. <laughs> and speaking of uh, a bit <clears throat> retarded, uh, this this honestly would have been a fairly good trap if it wasn't for the fact the the IG just keep dropping down pretty much the same two ropes in the same two areas. Over and, over and over and over. Stuff to wave of our men. Yeah, it's uh, you know, trench warfare didn't work. Um, you know, redcoats didn't have it right. It's it's just not good to come down in uniform lines. And the sadly, the fact that the emperor will protect them and stuff. You don't understand how these guys work. Uh, I understand that threats are keeping them from ever doing anything. Whatever. But. Yeah, um, this entire room was actually just to wait for some guy to come open a door for us because... You got locked in. Yeah, it was to keep these guys that weren't here yet from sneaking through the door. And getting to the uh, critical areas of the station like uh, this dude here. Yeah, this guy was guarding the grenades and the extra pulse carbines. Lord forbid that he should actually, you know, freaking use them. Well, maybe they require intense training. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I, I too find it difficult to point an object at another object in 3D space. He, he has to go through his trial by wind. <laughs> they, they, stick, they stick the air cast into an air tunnel, and they're like, just chill here for about an hour. Yeah, right, whatever works. And but yeah, that, we're. Do you enjoy, you know, people having to be sent home in soup cans? Because I mean, oh, we'll it's, have a kill. I have to use these grenades on somebody, and it's not going to be that two D fucking picture that's supposed to be a battle barge. Well, you know, well, you know, the the black shape around it—that's like the shield, you know. You yeah, use your imagination. I think it's just like. This game wasn't playtested. No. I think if they did playtest this, they would have figured out, this is not fun. Yeah. This now, um, the secret objective there was to kill all the uh, guardsmen in the kitchen, yeah? Yeah, it's, uh, there was actually a guy, uh, another member of the era cast, hiding back in the uh, the pantry there. You know, we safeguarding to... the sacred supplies of Milo. It's delicious yeah. chocolate in us. I do I... What? Milo? What yeah. the hell is Milo? It's like Oval Team but better. So shut up. Oh, it's it's Australia. 
Yeah, that's right, mate. Back off. Didgeridoos. Oh, God. You know, you see, here is what being Australian is like. Alright, let me talk at you for about five minutes. No, not really. But yeah, we're we're actually uh, near the brewery that is the this IG ship. Uh, they've uh, they were trying to dock onto us, but it's you know we don't want that obviously. So it's time to completely blow the hell out of whatever type of vessel this is. I'd like to point out the Vectrex up there. You just interrupted two guys who were goofing off. Well, they they should have been doing their job. The the machine spirits aren't happy with them. Percy! Uh, the witch. <laughs> yeah, thankfully they they didn't put any inquisitors into this game because that would have been really well. No one would have expected them. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, Monty Python. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So uh, we're now going to sabotage the ship while Lucia explains that you know get away from the bomb. And they actually do not give you a lot of time to get away from the bomb. It's it's literally extremely close in fact literally not literally at all um, you're basically only given about a 10 second window to fuck up so if you're not sure how to get out of this area which I was initially um, you will probably die and have to do this whole area over again well that's what you get for being a bumblefuck yeah I'm getting through the, the hot metal there it's not hot, it's just, you know, glowing. Five, some guy, like, four, spilt some three, fluorescent two, chemicals or something. Hey, I don't know! Spilt some Milo on it. <laughs> God damn it! No, alright, so, well, this guy probably needs to join us and get away no, from the still, explosion. He's covering the door, man. No. Oh. Okay, he's bastard. not covering the door anymore. Uh, well, parts of him are covering the door. Parts of him are also on fire. Which ones are covering the door and which ones are on fire? I will leave that to the person who has to clean that hallway to find out. Yeah, but actually, uh, we are, if you couldn't tell, we're now at the end of the level. Uh, thank you, Lord Baxter, for joining me on this no, level. Mate. Yeah. No luck, guys. And we'll see you next time on Fire Warrior. See you, Zol. Okay, um, I think that kind of went better, maybe.